Tex is not allowing anyone in his pastures, including Nate, our little rooster. Yes, I caught you on video, buddy. And now Nate's gonna try to play tough. Well, Tex is not going to allow it. He wants Nate all the way out of that pasture. <laughs> oh no, now he's coming to mess with me. Listen, I love you. I'm the guy that feeds you, okay? What, buddy? You want some loving? Can I grab your horn? I bet everyone would love to see Daddy touch your horn. Can I touch your... No, no. Please, I just want to touch your horn. I got to have cat-like reflexes here, folks, because he is fast. Got it. <laughs> I got it, though. I did get it. Nate, I'm giving you a chance to leave. And Boy, I don't know what your sign language is trying to tell me. I think that means get out. Get the heck out. Daddy, get the heck out. This is my pasture. I don't want you or that little chicken, that little rooster in here. Okay. Tex is in the mood to play. He's uh, already had his dinner. You can all see that the uh, sky is getting fairly dark. We are right before sunset here. And this is the time that we usually see him at his most playful. And that might be the same with all of us. You have a belly full. Okay, I take that back because usually whenever my belly's full, I want to lay down and rest. I go to the couch and put on the news you know what that sounds like an old man doesn't it okay i don't, don't <laughs> i go to the couch and put on sports center you know what that sounds just as old i like to lay down after i've had a belly full once i've eaten i like to lay down why is it about me just never mind okay so tex likes to eat and then he gets kind of playful you can see that santiana and pearl have walked over to watch him play Oh, they love to see Tex play. And he puts on a show. No, he does. He puts on a show. What I think is amazing is just his sh the show of force and power. You know, Tex is a sweet little guy. He uh, and I have been together for several years now. And I got him as a yearling. You all know that. Most of y'all have followed the page for a while. You know the story of this guy here. Oh, I think I messed up his game, folks. I hate that because he was playing so good. I stood for a while and watched, and I wasn't sure if I should get the camera out or not, and he just kept going and going. And as soon as I walk over, lo and behold, if he says, you know what, I'm gonna go talk to my family. Well, you know who I can show you is Cornholio. Now, he's always ready to put on a show. And of course, he'll put on a show for his girl, Gloria. Gloria, your saddle is... <laughs> Seems to be a little crooked, love. Cornholio, we're not doing all that weird stuff right now, buddy. We're talking about Gloria and how pretty she is. Isn't she pretty, though? Really, she's gotten so much healthier since she's been here. And uh, I love her so much. We all, me and Cornholio, both love her so very much. She's just such a good girl. And, uh, yeah. So... And of course, Cornholio, boy, he put some feathers all out. Do y'all remember when he, when he had lost all of his tail feathers? <laughs> Poor Corny. You see that? He only Aww, has one feather. That's all jacked up. <laughs> all janky. Look at that. Actually, he has two, babe. Oh, man. <laughs> There's two feathers there. Oh, he was so pretty before. Oh, yeah. Jamie, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Look at the difference, Jamie. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> look, everybody. <laughs> oh, that was a miserable time of life, wasn't it, Cornholio? That reminds you of that little cartoon. Anyone who's old enough can remember that little cartoon where the guy goes to the beach 
and he's a puny little fella. And the muscle man comes by and kicks the sand in his face. Remember that? I think I think it has to do with a girl, and uh, a muscle a muscle bound guy comes along the beach and ends up kicking sand in this guy's face. And that was a an, an advertisement. I think that was an old time advertisement to try to get you to uh, either buy some kind of a muscle builder or something. I'm gonna see if I can find that. You guys that are old enough will remember that, though. I don't know why I just brought that up. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah, Cornholio and the fact that he had no feathers. And now, look how much look how much better he feels about himself. He can poof them things out. And he also can, can kind of like make his feathers vibrate. If you watch, he'll make a little humming sound. You all see the vibration? No? You think that's the, my camera shaking. And... It's not. He can make his little feathers vibrate, which make them look a whole lot prettier. He drops that one down low. Boy, he's cool. And if you notice, when he turns sides, he'll turn his back feathers to face me. Did y'all see that? He's not real sure. Okay, right now he's torn. Does he show off for, <laughs> does he show off for daddy? Or does he show off for, <laughs> hey, you better pick me. Okay, he's showing off for me. And Gloria, can, he can show off for her later. Yeah, so whenever he turns, he can turn his feathers also to the direction that he wants to show off for. Did y'all see that? Now, the unfortunate thing is, whoever is getting the opposite side of Cornholio has to see. <laughs> He's not going to let, let me see. We're not doing a square dance here, Cornholio. Show me the back of Cornholio. Show me the back of your... Just with Gotcha. Oh, no. Oh, gotcha. Cornholio. Turn around. Let me see the back. Cornholio. Dude, really? You've gotten me dizzy. You've gotten Daddy dizzy. I want to see the back of your feathers, please. No, not going to do it. Gloria's like, what in the world are y'all doing? You two dancing around over there. Look at her feet. They've gotten better. She still, you can tell that she kind of struggles to get around. But uh, her feet are looking quite a bit better than they were. All right, I think we got Tex out playing again. We might get back to some of this if I can get him to do something. <laughs> there he goes. Santana and Pearl have walked off and left him for the night. And now he's uh, he's a little frustrated. He wasn't quite ready to say goodnight to his beautiful Santana and Pearl. So he'll just walk to this roll of hay and take out all of his frustrations. There you go. Just take that thousand pound roll of hay and just toss it. Look at that. Guys, listen to me. It has rained here every day for the last week. And so that's not just some regular roll of hay. That is a waterlogged roll of hay. And that thing is not light. Any of you guys who work with hay, you know that you cannot move them with a small tractor. You need to have a pretty good sized tractor to pick up a roll of hay like that. And it can literally slingshot somebody. Yeah, I love when he does that. It makes me feel, even though I know that he'd love to be out in the big pasture, and he'd rather be doing that with Billy. Because with Billy, there'd be a prize to see. If he was to do that with Billy, it would be a prize to win at the end. It'd be about 15 beautiful little heifers he could walk off with and uh, sit around the campfire and do whatever bulls do with their heifers. <laughs> that was dumb. But up here, he's just having to practice. He could just practice for whenever that day comes. Anywho, uh, in case you're wondering, Santana and Pearl are over here. They thought they're getting a little bite of hay. They've already had dinner also, so they're not hungry right now, but sometimes they have a little, they need a little roughage in the belly to go along with the grains. All right, folks. You can hear the sounds of night coming on 
winch that tells us it's time to turn this video off and wish you all a good night. Say it, Trudy. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Say it, Trudy. How about you, Cornholio? Cornholio! <laughs>